welcome back. We've bought ourselves some time in the trial as we try and find who the true killer was of the Magistrate. Because we, we don't think it was the uh, samurai guy, or whatever his name is, Powers. You know, our defendant. You know, the one we're trying to get acquitted, or whatever the terminology is. But we did just meet the assistant here, but she's gone back to the main gate because she's taking charge at the moment. So let's go speak to her. Oh, hello. Ho oh, ho! Look a little out of place. It's the clothes, isn't it? I thought my camo vest might do the trick. Kind of an alternative guard fashion thing. Alright, so let's talk to you then. The studios. So, how are the studios doing? There's police wandering around everywhere. It's terrible. I've not seen any. Other than gumshoe, really. They won't even let me clean up. Don't want me disturbing evidence. I haven't even cleaned up our lunch plates from the day of the murder. I mean, those plates with the steak bones left over on them. In the employee area. And the other ones. Yeah. Can you believe it? Hmm. The fanboy. Do kids sneak in here a lot? Well... I don't think there's that many of them, but I do see one in particular, a bunch. He's always gawking at the sets or snapping pictures. You should see old Windbag's eyes flash when she sees him. She has a bit of trouble catching him, though. Aha, uh -huh, the director et al. I heard something at the trial today. They said that the director and the producer were here the day of the murder. Oh, sorry. I was in the prop storage room, so I didn't see them. Guess they were here, though. The studio head seemed pretty eager to keep us quiet. So they were trying to protect the director. Or the producer, really. The producer's our real star here. She saved those studios from the brink of disaster and kept them running. I don't think we'd still be in the business if it weren't for that producer. The producer, huh? Indeed. So, what else can we do here? So, you work with props, right? How uh, about that murder weapon? You mean and the samurai spear? Yeah, it's a prop, but it's still pretty heavy. I hate having to carry that thing around. So, you'd have to be pretty strong to use that as a weapon, it sounds like. Yes, yeah, so there goes my theory of like a kid holding it at least. I just wanted that back up on the repaired one. Where is Mr. Powers? The only person I can think of. Hmm. Um, not really sure what that is. Sorry. Hmm. Could you take a look at this? That's Mr. Powers. Why is he tracking his leg like that? What is this, anyway? Looks like she didn't know about this photo or the injury that morning. Uh, never mind. Hmm. Okay. So where else can we go? That's the question. Mm. Try the detention center. October 18th detention center. Visitor's room. Oh, Mr. Wright, thank you for earlier. Not at all. We got lucky to tell the truth. You can say that again. Let's not. So, WP, do you have any leads that might get us going in the right direction? Uh, any enemies you've made? Hmm. Sorry, but no. You should have to tell us anything that comes to mind, no matter how small. Can't really... Well, can't rely on getting lucky again tomorrow. Yes. Snip. Alright, you got anything you can tell us? Fanboy? Do, uh, fanboys sneak into the studios often? No, not that I know of. That security lady's pretty strict with them. In today's testimony, didn't she say you were often hanging around? The kids really, really love the Steel Samurai. They sneak past when she's not looking, I guess. Okay, the director, I suppose. Was the director present at the morning run-through? Yes, yes he was. He was directing how the Steel Samurai and the evil magistrate should move. Why didn't you tell us that before? Oh, I did the, her cadence completely wrong. Well, just the studio asked us to keep quiet. It has nothing to do with this. I hate to repeat myself, but Nick, here is a newbie lawyer, fresh off the bat. Bat. What I get bat from? Fresh off the bar. When he loses, he's going to lose big. I, 
I see. Whose side is she on? Not hiding anything else from us, are you? No, I sure hope not. Okay, well, what can we present you with? Um, that one, I suppose. Regarding the murder weapon, yes. Is it heavy, that spear? It's pretty hefty, yeah. I don't think the average person would be able to swing it around effectively. Hmm. And that's the spear that broke or something during the morning run-through. Oh yes, I goofed on a round kick, you see. I broke the spear. The security lady fixed it for me right away, though. Duct tape, we heard. It's powerful stuff, duct tape, powerful stuff. Regarding this photograph... I yes? This really, truly, absolutely isn't you, right? Right! Like, oh dear, oh dear. I was sleeping in my dressing room the whole time, honest. But who else could have worn it? Your costume was in your dressing room. Yes. I guess they snuck in and took it while I was asleep. But who? Yes, who indeed. You found this card key in your dressing room. Oh, that's mine, yes. People outside the studios get these cards? I don't think so. Even I have to return the card. Once the show's done filming, that is. Huh. Hmm. It's like, where now? We'll go back to our, 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 our thingy. Nothing there. Hmm. Just trying to think where else we could go here. Where, what else can we do? Let's examine stuff like this again. And why don't they put its head back on? Maybe we should ask the assistant. I'm not sure we really want her fixing anything. And you probably need a crane to move that thing. Probably so. Mm hmm. The trial, they said Studio 2 was down this path. Monkey head is in the way, but we should be able to get by it without a problem. We did. Monkey head is really heavy. It did knock that tree over when it fell. Left these. the monkey head and the tree fell the day of the murder, didn't they? Yeah, that's what Detective Gumshoe said. It's like, it is suspicious, that. Hmm. Okay, there's not much change in the dialogue here. Got the welcome there. Hmm. So it's like we have to go a little bit more, we can ask the assistant now. Hmm. But we said we could ask the assistant more. What, 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 what's going on here? The employee area then. Let's just move inside the dressing room. WTF? Who are you, dudes, Lamau? Uh huh? We. Wait, you first. Who are you? You look pretty suspicious to me. Whatever. Fourteen... Fourteen... Oh, what? Lamers. Ah, right. How can you... Yep. Not know the great Salmonella. Oh, dear. I am to lead shows. The Steel Samurai? Mine. Read the film credits. Really? You're the Salmonella? So sorry. I just... You, you look so... Sorry. No, no, quite all right. Really. It's fine. Ravel. What is it? You know, a closer inspection. Um, yeah. Hot, hot, hot slobber. Hey, do you do a lot of cosplay? Because that costume rock saws drool. Oh, dear. Rock saws? Oh, hey, hey, you're trolling. Huh? Um, uh, lol. Buffer overrun pant. Oh, my God. God, this dude. You've triggered my creative powers. Yes, yes, it's coming to me. Pink Princess. The sequel to Steel Samurai. Pink Princess. Warrior of Little Old Tokyo. Oh. oh quite lovely, I suppose. Yeah. Ruffle the Mao. It's quite bright, isn't it? P Pink Princess.
princess? Why has it got to be little old Tokyo? Why can't I ever call him, like, Neo old Tokyo? Yeah, we really need to talk about cool. Oh dear, this guy. So who are you? The day of the crime. Did you notice anything unusual on the day of the murder? Oh, I know who Jude, you dudes are. That security lady told you about us, eh? Oh my god, it's gonna be difficult to read his stuff, like seriously. That's right. It was a pretty regular day. We had a run through for an action scene in the morning. And a meeting for lunchtime in the Studio 2 trailer. <laughs> I was so busy I didn't even get a chance to eat lunch. A tea bun steak, was it? Yeah, Suxors. Hate missing out on food. Nick, what does Suxors mean? No idea. Anyway, I was in a meeting from noon till after four. With the producer and some bigwigs from the network. Mr. Hammer's time of death was estimated at 2.30pm. He's telling the truth. That meeting gives him an alibi. The producer? About the producer who was at the meeting with you. Oh, you mean De Vasque... Uh, I can't say that name. She's a genius. Mad skills all the way. Scary, though. Sweats. Ooh. She brought these studios back from the brink of destruction. She's the one who made it possible for me to make the Steel Samurai. You had a meeting with her on the day of the murder, right? Yeah, we were together from noon till four, the whole time. Okay, the bigwigs. Who exactly are these bigwigs people you keep mentioning? Oh, the boss over at the network and some sponsors. Also a few production guys. They powered into a limousine and got here right around noon. Major attention. Were all of them with you the entire time? Yeah, unfortunately. They're all grey-haired geezers. Scowl. Hmm. Sounds like they'd all be re reliable witnesses. Hmm. I'm trying not to pay much attention to things that don't interest me, lol. Okay. Why are you just staring at me like that? Oh dear. This is WP, right? How do you know? Oh, look, he's obviously dragging his foot. How do you know? Alright. Oh, the director would know- oh yeah, would know about the injury. He was there. Yeah, okay. Hmm. So what else could we examine here? There's an array of cosmetics here. Just don't know. I don't think that's relevant. Maybe this clothes here. Yeah, there's some regular suits in among the costumes here. These are Mr. Power's personal clothes. Hmm. It's like, where else can we check now? See, it's like, I don't know. Try the main gate again. See, it's like, who else can we check with at this point? I'm not entirely sure, like, we didn't really learn anything new from that guy, though, did we? So let's go back to the office. Yeah, hmm. I think, like, where else we could go at this point? Maybe inside Studio One? Go back to Studio Two, maybe? Oh, October 18th, Studio Two entrance. This place is deserted. Oh. Eh. Yeah. Nick, what was that noise? It sounded like it came from inside the trailer. Someone must be inside. Hello? No answer. Pretty suspicious if you ask me, Nick. Let's go in. I'm not sure we should be barging in. Huh? It's locked. What? Don't we have a key? No. But there's probably one in the guard station at the main gate. Then what are we waiting for? Let's borrow it. If they'll let us. Alright, so we'll definitely move back there then. Aha! Hugh again! What are you doing back? Uh. How rude, acting like you've seen a ghost. You certainly got back to your post quickly. 
Oh, the police took me away, they did. They pulled out a spare steel samurai costume. Told me to put it on. Can you imagine? How could I? A sweet little old lady wear a giant suit like that. Mr. Powers is pretty tall. As soon as they saw, there was no way I could wear it. They let me go. Guess that would rule out her being the murderer. Anyway... Know this, whippersnapper. This old lady never forgets a slight or insult. And you won't get any information out of me. My lips are sealed. You sure are talking a lot for someone with sealed lips. Starting now. One, two, three. Hm. This lady's too much. She's not going to talk to us at all. I'm about that kid you said you saw. I see him again. I'm taking him down. Nick, look at her eyes. She's serious. Director? Not the director, the one who was here the other day of the murder. I see him again, I'm taking him down. Nick, I, I think she's losing it. Oh dear. Maybe we can get... Security guard station. You can see the computer that runs the security cameras. Hey, no touching. I guess I'd better investigate that later. So how can we get the thing I need? It's like I, I need to get... Hmm. There we go. Hey! Hey, wait! I bet he came in right through that drain. It's a good job we removed the grate. Thingy doodah, what's it thing? Hey, um, kiddio. What's your name, sport? I'm not a kid, so don't talk to me like that. Uh -huh, but you... You are a kid. What a rude little brat. There's no way to talk to an adult. I don't see no adults here. He'd be fashion chick. He'd be fashion? Nick, I think I'm being mocked. You've got to hand it to Maya. He's pretty sharp and pretty mad. And Cody. Cody Hack... Hackins? Hackins. Call me Kitty-O again, and I'll cut you down where you stand, evil doer. Well, all right then, hello. Steel Samurai. So you're a fan of the Steel Samurai? How dare you utter that name, evil doer? What do you mean? On the Steel Samurai's side? Ha! <laughs> you can't fool me. Here then. What's the last line said by the innkeeper in episode 8? Huh. Easy. Like some fries with that? Hmm. Not bad, kiddio. Kiddio. Seriously. Watch it. What are they doing? Hey, you heard anything about the incident the other day? You were here, weren't you? Did you see anything? He... He... He always... The Steel Samurai always wins. Always. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But... But no way am I telling you losers. What? Wait! Let me go. He's gone. Huh. Something fell off the table when he bumped into it on his way out. A bottle? Why was this sitting there, I wonder? Sleeping pills, eh? Anyway, what was that kid saying? He saw everything. But what did he see? Hmm. The train where the fanboy came in. He didn't waste any time coming in, either. Talk about cause and effect. Indeed. Huh? Where's that old windbag? Out of her to leave her post. Hey! Nick, that was her. S stop! Whip a snapper. Ah. Yeah, sounds like she's chasing after that boy. Natch! Uh-oh, she tripped. Maya sure looks happy. Right, now's our chance to get that key. Hey, hey, Nick. Now's our chance. Let's check out the guard station. Good idea. Oh. This is it, Nick. The trailer key. Key to that trailer in Studio 2. We're borrowing this, right, Nick? Trailer key slipped into pocket. Alright then, so let's go back then. So, outside Studio 1. Outside Studio 2. Oh, that's the wrong one. Examine the door. 
I wonder if the key we borrowed from the guard station will work. It opened. Great. Let's go, Nick. He seems eager all of a sudden. Well, you first, Nick. Uh, not that eager. Alright, so trailer it is. Hmm. October 18th, Studio 2 trailer. Who are you? Huh? <laughs> Someone's in here. Names. Uh, names? Uh, WP's lawyers and, um... Let's see. And who might you... D Vasquez, whatever. Uh, the producer. Call it D. D. She's quite beautiful. Let's speak to her then. I was wondering if you could tell me about the day of the murder. Uh, Miss D? Script. Uh, excuse me? Script. I'm looking for a script. A s script? Steel Samurai, episode 13. I need it. Um, could we ask you a bit about the day of the murder? I need to read it. We're getting nowhere fast. Steel Samurai. Um, we'd really like to ask you about the Steel Samurai. Miss D, it's on TV every week. That's all I have to say about that. Nick, she's telling us to go watch TV. The nerve of her! You don't get mad at me. About the director. Sal, was it? What exactly is his role here? Perhaps I didn't make myself clear. I'm looking for a script. Can't be bothered with anything else. Nick. Are all people in the ent entertainment business this weird? 95% of them. It's starting to look like it. Nick, let's get out of here. Isn't there someplace else we have to check? Yeah. Wait. Yes? If you see Manella, give him this. Why do we have to do your errands? I... I don't think I like her. Don't cry. She'll take it as a sign of weakness. Alright. We'll give it to him if we see him. Okay. Let's examine the area, though. What's, what's this? Looks like they were designing a set to use for the Steel Samurai show. We got some figures for how much these sets cost. Can't believe they spend that much money on those sets. I think we'll be alright with, like, just going out, actually. So... Just trying to figure out exactly where I want to go. I want to go back to the... Employee area, don't I? There he is. So present... Here! I got this from the producer. Huh? Bring me the script for episode 13. Is it 13? Where did I put that one? I must have left it somewhere. Oh, my ass is owned if I don't find it. Nick, it might be quicker to just look in all the places where he's likely to have been. I think I know where it is. It's on a chair. I agree. Alright, so, let's move out of here. Move again. Is there a better way to get around? Like, seriously, because it's like, I just, just sort of like a map of the area and just be like, right, I want to go to there, because I want to go there. The back of the scene of the crime. Let's find what we need and get out of here quick, Nick. Right, so it's like clearly on the chair over there. Hey, look! That's the chair the director sits in. I always wanted to see it. The director? Maya! Take a look around that chair for me, would you? Remember that script the director was talking about? Didn't he say he'd left it somewhere? Aha! Uh -huh. Found it, Nick. The script. Good work. There we go. So now we're out here once again. It's just like going from menu, 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 menu to get there. Alright, so let's present him with the script. See if he says anything. We found your script. Woot. Thanks. Still, I don't know. That woman is to be feared uh, when you is it, uh, when you bring something to her late. 
Say, um, do you think you dudes could take it down there for me? Thanks. Does that producer really that scary? Oh, she's certainly not normal. Indeed. Alright, then let's get back there. So much jumping around the menus. It gets in the way of the rest of the game, if anything. Maybe a better way to jump around. Here, yeah, we found it. Your script. Ah. Script handed to D. Um, uh... You're not going to talk to us? Quiet. I'm reading. Just you hold on. What's the big... big idea? Who do you think you are, anyway? And... Do you even know who we are? How as lawyers? Um... Right. Am I a suspect? No, it's just... well, no, but... I wanted to know about the day of the murder. Yes, anything you could tell us would be a big help. You know, uh... You know there was a meeting here at noon. Yes, with the director and the people from the network. Correct. Now listen closely. None of the people in this trailer that afternoon went to Studio One. It was impossible for us to leave. Impossible? Why? The path was blocked. The... path? Ah. I'm not interested. Okay. Interested. I see if are important. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get anything from her, are we? It's like, it's this, it's this, it's clearly this. It's like, now, like, where do we go? Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure at this point where to go. We've got the sleeping pills, I suppose we can investigate that. Uh, excuse me? Thank you for showing me that, whatever that is. Wish I could think of some way I could help you. Sorry. Okay, so that's not related to that. Was like maybe for, like, because of the sleeping stuff, like, maybe that would come up. Okay, so let's go over to... I try not to pay much attention to things that don't interest me. Why are you staring at me like that? Oh, the skin. The question is, where now? Like, yeah, sure, the place was blocked, but... Hmm... It's gotta be somewhere that I'm not thinking of. But where? Nothing in there. Gotta be some piece of evidence, I'm just... missing. Somewhere. Ah, there we go. The blocked path. That's just an obvious thing and not doing. On the day of the murder, the path that leads here was blocked. You saw Mr. Monkey on the way here, correct? But Mr. Monkey? The monkey with the broken head? Alright, that. What an original name. Its head fell off in the wind on the day of the murder. They didn't start moving the head out of the way until after three. It was after four by the time the path was unblocked. Capiche? Everyone in this trailer was stuck here until the path was cleared. Stuck in this trailer? Stuck until after four. Hammer died at 2.30. Thus, none of us could have gone to Studio One unless the head fell off. After that point? What? It's true. A crane came just after three to move the head. We called some people in to clear the way. I'm sure they'd corroborate my story. But wait! But the head fell off after 2.30. There you go. And you could have gone to Studio One. 2.30. The time of death. Very well. Come. That's Mr. Monkey. When it wasn't broken, it announced the time in oonks. On ook. Per hour. Ook. 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 
always with the Uki. It is a monkey after all. So all the mechanical clocks and stuff is very strange. Check its head. The clock inside stopped when it broke. Nick, it stopped at 2.15. 2.15. That's right. The path was blocked from 2.15 till after 4. Hmm. Therefore, we're innocent. Mr. Hammer died in Studio 1 at 2.30. See? Goodbye. Mr. Monkey's head added to the court record. What do we do, Nick? There isn't anyone besides WP who could have killed Hammer. It's over. We're finished. Sure doesn't look good. Guess we should head back to the office and plan our strategy. Guess so. It's like, it's like, it's like just give me a way to get back quickly. It's like, really? October 18th, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Now what? We're fresh out of clues. Everyone's alibi is watertight. We don't even have any promising leads. Things are looking pretty grim. It's a little early for giving up, don't you think? Huh? We've got one lead. M Maya, it's you. What took you so long? Sorry, Phoenix. M Maya has trouble calling me unless she's really in trouble. Right. Oh, wait. I guess that means we're really in trouble. I'd say so. What did you mean we have one lead? The boy, of course. Yeah, I saw him. I saw everything. What? But, but no way am I telling you losers. I don't know, he didn't sound like he was going to help us at all. I'm sure you can find some way of bringing him over to your side. Either way, we should go back to the studios. Again? That boy is our last hope, Phoenix. No. There is another. Uh, thanks. Now I'm more worried than I was before. Right, so I think this is a lovely place once again to end this part. In the next part, we'll head back to the studios and see if we can find that boy. Boy. So, we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.